Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Miss BT here, coming to you guys today with an office tour. <gasps> yes, so I am finally sharing the office in all of its things that are in here. I'm so excited. So if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, go ahead, go follow me right now. Take this quick second to go follow me. Oh, also while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know, do all of those things, please, please just go ahead and take a second and do that. I do work from home full time. So outside of YouTube, I do have a full time job. And so this office is now officially my dream office. It is literally every single thing that I've ever wanted in a productive workspace. Huh. I'm so happy about it. So I was so excited to share it with you guys. So this video is actually a collaboration with my best friend in real life, uh, the Homes How to How to do How to do that. I think they say they say whose house? Like if it doesn't whose house? Homes house. <laughs> I hope I did it right. But anyways, so this is a collaboration with the Homes House. So Portia is also work from home full time. She has her office set up. And so we thought that it would be a great idea to just share because I don't know about you guys, but we both really enjoy seeing other people's workspaces because I think it's really cool to see everybody's vibe, everybody's style, how everybody works throughout the day and kind of where they work. So make sure you go over there so you can check that out. And if you are from the Homes House, welcome. Welcome to the party. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, thanks. Appreciate ya. We're excited to share our offices today and without any more delay, jibber jabber, yada yada, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video, okay? So really quick though, <laughs> I know I I'm teasing y'all, I'm teasing y'all some more. <laughs> Most of the things in the office are from Ikea and Amazon, so I will go ahead and make sure that I link all of those things down below for you guys. I do have an Amazon affiliate store or an Amazon storefront, um, so if you do see anything down in the description box that you are interested in purchasing it will be much appreciated if you purchase through my link it does help me out a little bit here on my channel um, and costs you nothing so did want to just share that with you guys it is always much appreciated all right so let's go ahead and get straight into the video all right guys so i am so excited to share the office with you guys finally so i'm going to go through all of the details and as mentioned i will link everything down below and so let's get right into it so first things first is my huge statement piece my bandolier yep you heard it fan plus chandelier equals bandolier <laughs> and I love it so I actually got it from Wayfair and I'll have it linked down below but as you guys can see the fan blades are acrylic so when you turn it off the fan blades just circle right back up to the top of the light fixture and you can't even see them just turns into a regular chandelier again and it's absolutely perfect it's super feminine super glam and it's it's just the perfect piece for my office in case you guys were wondering we did hang this bandolier ourselves and added all of the individual crystallized pieces but it wasn't too difficult so right when you come in on the right side of the room is a small little corner wall and so what I did was I found some dry erase boards from Ikea that fit perfectly on this wall the boards did come with the clips so I'm just displaying a few photos for now and then on the left when you first walk in is a small waste basket I picked this up from home goods it's a soft closing a little trash can so fits perfectly in the space and right next to that is a small side table and I picked that side table up from home goods on top is a diffuser I love this little essential oil diffuser I picked it up from Amazon and it has a timer so you can let it go for one three or six hours and it automatically will turn off and then I also have this small lamp that is powered by the Google home right there and as you can see all I have to do is say hey Google and I can then turn my lights on and off so here's the desk and the desk is from Ikea so what I did was because I wanted a really long desk to fit the length of this wall I actually got two different size tabletops and I purchased separate legs and so what I love about Ikea's desk options is that you can really mix and match however you feel see fit which really makes for a unique workspace and I have the desk sitting on my two Alex drawers so 
In addition to having legs on the outer parts of the desk, I have them also sitting on top of these Alex drawers that provides me with a lot of great storage. I've had these Alex drawers for many years. I used to have them as a part of my makeup vanity and then I have kind of since not been doing that so much anymore. So um, now I've just converted them over into the office space and they are absolutely perfect. Having the Alex drawers in the middle allows me to have two separate workspaces. So I have my everyday nine to five and then I have my personal side space where I am currently editing my video. <laughs> So let's talk about what's on the desk. So right here, you'll see a little purse hook <laughs> from Christmas time, which is why it is a snowman. Then I also have just this little flower vase right here that I picked up from Home Goods, some hand sanitizer, and that little glass box is where all of my essential oils are housed that are right there for the diffuser. And I also picked those essential oils up from Amazon, so I'll try to link those down below as well. And right here is a coaster set that I picked up from Ikea. I thought it matched the room perfectly and it protects my desktop. And that little gray bag right there is my on the go kind of mini work bag that I just throw in my purse whenever I'm working out of the office and I'm out and about. So I just have my phone charger, computer charger, pens, all of that type of stuff, extra headphones, all that is in there. And I just pick it up and go. I also have my monitors sitting on monitor risers and I love these. They look so clean and modern with the glass and white look. And you can also slip anything under there. So if you have a keyboard, notebook, anything, extra storage kind of hidden away. And right here is one of my favorite coffee mugs. I got the coffee mug from Amazon, but I personalized it myself using my Cricut machine. So it is one of my very first Cricut projects and I love it. Um, so this is just kind of a, a view of my actual everyday workspace. So you see my laptop, docking station, mouse, mouse pad, phone um, that is sitting on a phone charger, all of that. I just kind of have my whole little setup right there for me to be productive every single day. If you guys want more information on the mouse pad and kind of the laptop decal and all of that, just let me know and I'll make sure I link it down below. And then right on top of the docking station, I have a small acrylic organizer where I'm just housing some of my journals right now. And that little blue book back there is actually a book that Bear got me that tells me all of the reasons why he loves me. So I keep it there so that if I'm having a bad day, I can just kind of take a look at it. And then right underneath the desk, you're probably wondering like where all my cords were. Here they are. <laughs> so I got this little cable management um, system, if you will, from Ikea and it drills into the top of the desk perfectly. Then also underneath the desk, I just have a little pink poof. I honestly cannot remember where I got this from, either Target or Home Goods, but it's there for me to prop my feet up on. And yes, I am totally a mom with my son as her screensaver, okay? <laughs> but I love having my phone propped up right here for when I'm taking calls and things like that. So it's perfect placement. And then right on the other monitor, I just have these little productivity glasses. I don't really have an opinion about them as of yet. I just got them from Amazon, but I don't wear glasses regularly. Uh, however, I just went ahead and picked them up for when I'm in front of the computer. So more to come on that. But there's my AirPods, some lip chaps, some Vaseline. And it also looks like I have a little pump wipe over there. I'm no longer breastfeeding, but I did go, I believe it was like 16 months. And so I used to do a lot of pumping in this room, okay? And right over here is, are my scissors my stapler, some lotion, room spray. I have this mirror here for me to be able to check, see what I look like before I hop on a call. <laughs> um, I also have this little hourglass back there that I picked up from Kirkland's. It was on sale. I don't even use it, but I thought it was so cute. And then I have this little organizer that is the most disorganized organizer you've probably ever seen. But it's just housing some pens, unsharpened pencils, and some scissors right now. 
And then this is the space where I edit. This is kind of my YouTube section of my workspace. Um, so right here I just have an iMac. I cannot remember how big this is, but it's pretty big. Um, and it is also sitting on top of the same risers that I have my work monitor sitting on. And I just kind of tuck my cords away underneath there, my, H my kind of plug-ins, my USBs and things like that. The custom mouse pad over there was a gift from my sister. It's one of our family photos that we took on Thanksgiving. And fun fact, I actually went into labor with Little Bear the very next day. <laughs> So that was like one of the last pictures with me pregnant. Right underneath there I have the printer sitting on a little printer stand with some extra paper that sits out. I have some bases that have no home right now and I need to do the cable management on this side as well. I have it but I have not done it yet. <laughs> One of my favorite additions to the office was these curtains. It was the inspiration for the des whole design of the room. I found these curtains at Home Goods, and they were super duper inexpensive. Um, they're kind of like a velvet material, super soft pink, but they just looked so beautiful in here and brought in a lot of beautiful color uh, on a white wall and white space. So. I love them. And then I have this little plant in here. I don't know that it'll live here forever, but it's there for now. <laughs> and I almost forgot to mention, so on the huge wall above my desk, we added some wood wall art. So these are from Kirkland's. If I can find them, I will link them down below. They originally were a natural wood color. Like they're real wood, y'all. Like you have to handle these very carefully because you will get a splinter trust me <laughs> but they originally came in a brown wood natural color and so what we did was we painted them white with chalk paint I say we but bear actually did this <laughs> because at the time I was pregnant and so I did not touch any paint um, but he did such a great job and we love the natural imperfections of this piece so before I forget, these are the chairs. I got two identical chairs. This boss lady pillow was a gift from my mommy because she thinks I'm a boss lady and really she's the boss lady. But anyways, so um, I picked up these chairs from Wayfair. And what I love about them is that this butt part, the bottom seat part is cushion. It's super cushiony so I can sit in this chair for hours and be very comfortable. Um, and then I love the it has handles on the back and it's a super sleek look. So highly recommend. So on the opposite wall in the office is the storage wall. So I wanted to make sure that we had ample amount of storage for us to continue to grow into this office. And so we have two identical bookshelves that you will see. Currently there's not too much going on in there. There's a couple of um, like knickknacks, some pictures, some kind of college memorabilia, things like that. Um, some extra books and stuff that we have kind of sitting in here uh, as well as my sorority stuff and extra vases that don't have a place right now. Um, they're just kind of in there but it's super great to have all of this extra storage space for whenever we do need it and then I can just kind of move some knickknacks around but for now I'll just keep a few things on display because they're pretty to look at Speaking of pretty to look at you might see my crown sitting there on display I did win a pageant in my city um, some years back when I was in college so I keep that sitting there on display the middle cabinet has white doors on it to hide all of the extra supplies and the not so display stuff so that just gets hidden away in there and right above that you'll see a, yes that is a small little gold Christmas tree that stays up year round don't judge me okay thanks um, and then there is my Cricut bear got me this Cricut for Christmas a couple of years ago and I absolutely love this thing okay like I highly recommend getting a Cricut if you're crafty um, and right next to that is just a few things on display that is actually the announcement for when me and bear found out we were pregnant and we wanted to tell everybody and I also have a TV in this room and so this is actually a smart TV it is an Amazon fire TV so it pretty much is just like having a fire stick or fire TV attached to a regular TV <laughs> um, without the attachment so I can flip through YouTube Disney Plus Netflix Spotify Amazon music 
YouTube TV, whatever it is that I want to watch, Hulu, whatever, whatever I want to watch or listen to, I can do that with this TV. All I have to do is just download the app and sign in. So you'll see me here just kind of flipping through YouTube. I often uh, during the day like to just kind of have some background noise going on. So I'll catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers videos um, and then as well as listen to a few playlists when I'm just trying to stay super focused, super hyper focused. Um, and so you'll see how easy it is to just kind of flip through and find things. So I got this TV from Amazon. I will link it down below and you might see someone a little familiar up there. <laughs> yep, mm -hmm, that's my channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell, okay? All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it has given you some inspiration to either revamp your workspace, encourage you to build out your workspace, redo your office, whatever it is. Again, I will make sure that I link everything down below for you guys that I mentioned as much as I can, but if y'all have any questions, feel free to shoot those down in the comments down below. Um, and following this video, I'm going to be doing a five work from home tips, things that I felt like were helpful for me um, so continue to be productive as I work from home and also just having a productive workspace setup so if you guys are interested in those tips and tricks make sure you come on back hit that notification bell make sure that you're subscribed and make sure you're following me on Instagram um, as I continue to turn my house into a home and share it with you guys so thanks for joining me I'll see you guys in the next one bye